All right, well, hello everyone. It's uh, Professor Canedo here, and it's time once again for another uh, fun-filled uh, roll call video. And this is the video for week six of the, of the fall semester, and the dates are September uh, 26th through through 30th. And before we get, get on with it, uh, you're probably wondering uh, what, what, what's, what's going on o o over here. I thought I'd try something different uh, for the uh, for these videos for the rest of for the rest of the semester. Um, I'll, I'll keep tinkering with this uh, over the next couple of weeks. But what I'll do is, uh, 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 which no matter which uh, topic I'm, I'm, I'm covering, I'll, I've got this uh, little contraption set up here to indicate uh, what uh, uh, what class I'm talking about during a specific point in the video. I know some of you have uh, shared your uh, your thoughts about the video. I definitely appreciate the feedback, especially those of you in the uh, gross month classes. Some of you did mention that you preferred that the roll call videos focused it on one class instead of uh, all four sections. <clears throat> Uh, but uh, but uh, but to try to uh, but to try to alleviate that or to uh, or to at least keep the uh, keep the keep the flow going. Uh, whatever uh, wh whatever class I'm working on, right right here it'll, it'll indicate what uh, what what class I'm talking about. So uh, so if you're in the gross mod sections and, and you're seeing this designation here, you can fast forward until your class uh, appears. So let me just quickly tell you uh, what what color codes I have. So uh, for those of you in the uh, Mass History 142 classes, uh, your uh, uh, your information here will hopefully you guys can see it here. Uh, your information will be here in the uh, in, in the red in the red uh, uh, sharpie uh, uh, color. Those of you in the Chicano Studies uh, class, the Mesa class, uh, you will have the orange uh, uh, sharpie uh, color here. <clears throat> For those of you in the Gross Mod section, History 109, I've got you in, uh, in in purple. And last but not least, those of you in the History 109 sections, I've got you in, in uh, I've got you in green. So let me go ahead and get uh, and put these back in my uh, uh, picture frame here. Uh, this thing actually seemed worked worked out uh, worked out pretty good. And let me go ahead and, and get uh, let me go ahead and, and get to get things started. So let me start out by talking to those of you in the uh, uh, Moss History 142 class, the Southwestern College uh, section. Okay, this week you're working on um, uh, <clears throat> on Mex Mexican Americans in the uh, post World War era. Um, this will take you, of course, in the years right after World, World War II. And in addition to the readings from the Crucible of Struggle and Beyond 1848 books, you've got a powerful program on the Cold War foreign policy uh, foreign policy program called called containment containment went uh was a part and parcel of the uh, uh, of the cold war uh, the cold war uh, era so we're talking about things like the like, like the marshall plan the truman doctrine of course the formation of nato those things are covered are covered in this so in order to understand the politics of the country in terms of what's happening in the, in the nation you got to understand a little bit on foreign policy so that powerpoint showing containment will definitely give you a hand, hand with that uh, you've got the article from uh, fr from Mario Garcia, and <clears throat> and your film this week is within the Cold War climate. It's the classic uh, 1950s a pro labor uh, film called Salt of the Earth. Salt of the Earth has had a controversial history o o o over the years, uh, and I think if, if you if, when you see the film, you'll kind of understand why. So definitely check out Salt Salt of the Earth. And uh, as for quizzes, quiz seven, quiz six is going to open up on Friday. Quiz five shuts down uh, tomorrow. Uh, your EBSCO reviews, I need those on Thursday, so be sure to uh, get those into me. If you haven't informed me yet of your article choices, you better get on that uh, right away. You got you to let me know so you've got plenty of time to work on your articles. And remember, you have to choose your articles from two journals, the Journal of American History and the Journal of American Ethnic History. So any of those two journals from EBSCO, you can choose your article. And uh, discussion group two, your form five comments are due on, on, on Friday. I'll talk to you next uh, uh, next weekend. Okay, let's go ahead now and let me talk to those of you in the uh, Chicano Studies class. So those of you in, in Chicano Studies 141A, here are your topics for the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, here are your topics for the week. You're going to work on the decline and the collapse of European rule. That is the, the uh, collapse of the English colonies. Uh, and, and also the collapse of the Spanish colonies. So in other words, the early stages leading to the independence of both the United States and Mexico, respectively. Um, in addition to the readings in between the conquests, because remember, we're done with ancient Mexico, so between the conquests, we'll, we'll keep with that for the rest of the <clears throat> rest of, of, of the semester. Besides between the conquests, you've got a few Wikipedia articles about Spain, so check those, check those out. There's a couple of U.S. lecture outlines that I want you to look at, too, and, and several PowerPoint programs, a whole batch of them, uh, so to speak, including one on the legendary uh, literary character Don, Don Quixote. Uh, <clears throat> 
addition to that, you've got the uh, you've got the reading on Benjamin from Benjamin Rader, in which he talks about the Declaration of Independence. So some of the uh, movements uh, toward the United States in independence, you know, more people thinking, more the uh, early Americans thinking back in the uh, late 18th century, entry, 18th century. So check that out. You also have an EBSCO assignment due. That's due uh, due on, on Thursday. So like those of you in the uh, Moss 142 class, please inform me of your article choice if you haven't done so already. Uh, quiz six is going to open up for you on Thursday, and quiz five will shut down today. And your film this week is on the American Revolution, the early stages of the revolution. That's the film Boston, Bloody Boston, which uh, came out in the History Channel uh, about 10 years ago. So one of the last a few uh, good History Channel programs before they started very off into the really wild and wacky reality TV uh, nonsense. Uh, so check out Boston, Bloody Boston. And then discussion group two, I need your form five comments by the end of the week. I'll, I'll check in with you uh, next weekend. Okay, that concludes... Uh, the uh, discussions, the coverage of what's happening for those of you in the Southwestern and the Mesa sections. Let me go now and talk to those of you in the uh, Grossmont sections, and I'll start off first by talking to those of you in the History 109 class. Okay, History 109, uh, <clears throat> your topic this week is War and Society. So you're in the World War I uh, era. Your reading is uh, Who Built America, Chapter 6. You've got a powerful program on immigration issues on the early 20th century. Immigration, of course, is a very uh, hot topic right now with the, uh, with, with the election. And of course, the big debate is going on today. I'm definitely going to check that out uh, tonight. I'm sure I'll comment about it when we get to the big discussion topics of, uh, toward the end of the semester. Um, <clears throat> uh, as for your podcast, I want you to, to listen to World War I and the Paralysis of Progressivism. And your video this week is part three of Ken Burns' jazz, uh, jazz series. Burns goes deeper and deeper into the 1920s and into the 19, into the 1930s. Uh, so we're still a little bit a, a, a ways away when people like uh, Miles Davis and John Coltrane, Charlie Parker come on the scene. So uh, we're, we're getting closer to uh, to those uh, uh, eras. In terms of uh, what to turn in, your podcast journal six entries are due on, on Thursday, and uh, and quiz six is going to open up on Friday. Uh, quiz five will shut down on Friday as uh, as well. All right, so that's for those of you in History 109 section. Now let me go ahead and last but not least, talk to those of you in the History 108 sections, and here's what you have on tap for th this week. Um, this week, uh, we're going, we're moving toward the American Revolution period, so check out Chapter 4 of the Who Built America text and uh, view the PowerPoint program on the French and Indian War. That's, it's not labeled the French and Indian War, so when you go to PowerPoint, so please uh, don't, don't be confused in terms of the, in terms of the, the, the label it is about the French and French and Indian War, despite the uh, uh, despite the differences in terms of the in terms of the labeling that I have it uh, that I have it there in the PowerPoint section. Um, you've got two podcasts to listen to this week. Please listen to War and Identity in 1763, and also listen to The Road to Revolution. Um, your podcast journal four entries are due are due on Wednesday, and Quiz Five is going to open up for you on on Friday. Quiz Four will shut down. Uh, on, on Friday as well. And uh, I still have some more Daughter of Fortune Nuts and Bolts videos uh, for you. I'll have one for you toward the end of the week. So we're still a little bit away from the readings and Daughter of Fortune, about two weeks away before we get to that. But I definitely want to make sure that I have a lot of the Nuts and Bolts videos uh, uh, off the uh, off the ground, so to speak, before the reading starts. So I'll have one for you this week and most likely have another one for you coming up uh, next week. All right, so that's the plan for the uh, uh, that's the plan for the week, everybody. I hope this uh, goofy uh, thing uh, 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 helped out here. I'll, of course, perfect it over the next uh, few days, so I think I'll definitely uh, trim, the, uh, trim the edges here. And definitely what I want to do is uh, have it where the, where the graphics uh, pop up, like, like on a lot of the YouTube videos, where a graphic uh, 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 pops up, a Chiron or a Crawl, whatever it is. So I'm going to work on that. Uh, might be too late. Uh, I might not be able to get something like that going uh, for this semester, but definitely for future semesters, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. But in the meantime, I think uh, this, uh, 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 this little uh, contraption uh, will work out ju just fine for our purposes. Okay, so that's the plan for the week. That's the plan for uh, week six. Uh, we're coming. We're, we're we're well into the one third point of the uh, uh, point of, of of the semester, and at this point at point in time too, uh, definitely be aware of, of the drop dates are coming up. So that no matter which class, which class or which school you're you're, you're going to, they're coming up pretty fast. Of, of course, uh, uh, <clears throat> of course, for the uh, southwestern and, and Mesa sections. So those of you in the one forty two and one forty one a, definitely check on that as soon as possible. And for those of you in the gross month sections, definitely be aware of that as we get into. Uh, all right, everyone, that, that's what's happening. Uh, so have, have a great week, and we'll do this again next week.